Hello and welcome to my channel Study with Pradipto. In my previous video, I discussed some concepts of this course Introduction to Machine Learning and discussed some questions also. So in this video, I will discuss some more questions on these topics. Okay. So if you guys not see my previous video, then you go to my description. I will give the link of the previous video. Okay. In this video, I will discuss some questions. Okay. So this is my first question. Let's choose the correct options from the following. Okay. When working with small data sets, one should prefer low bias, high variance. When working with small data set, one should prefer high bias, low variance. Option C is when working with large data set, one should prefer high bias, low variance. When working with large data set, one should prefer low bias and high variance. So uh, to answer this question, we have to remember two things that for small data set, high bias and low variance. So we have to remember just small data sets, low variance. Okay. And for large data set, high variance. Okay. And bias will be automatically the opposite of the variance. Okay. If low variance is there, then high bias. If high variance is there, then it will be low bias. Okay. So for small data sets, low variance and high bias will be preferred. Uh, low bias and high variance. And uh, option D see that when working with a large data set, one should prefer low bias high variance classifier over high bias and low variance. So B and D is my option. Okay. So coming to the next questions. Question number two. Consider the following statement. In the forward stepwise selection, in each step, that variable is chosen which has the maximum correlation with the residential, then the residual uh, is replaced on that variable and it is added to the predictor. And statement B is, it is told that in forward stage-wise selection, the variables are added one by one to the previously selected variables to produce the best fit till then. So, so for that, we have to know that in forward stepwise selection, stepwise, that means step by step, one by one. Okay. So in forward stepwise selection, the variables are added one by one. And in forward stage-wise selection, the variables are chosen from the maximum correlation with residual. Okay. So if we know these uh, two things, that is in forward stepwise selection, step by step, or one by one is selected and in for our stage wise selection, the variable is chosen from maximum correlation. So, by these two, we can come to conclusion that both the statements are false. Okay. So, coming to question number three. Given a training data set of 500 instances with each input instances having six dimensions and each output being a scalar value. Okay. So, what is our requirement? The dimensions of the design matrix used in applying linear regression to this data set. Okay. Uh, there is an equation we have to remember that dimension of design matrix will be number of instances into number of columns, okay? And number of columns is equal to features plus one bias term. Like features means dimension here. Here is six dimension is there, six. So six will be there. That means six plus one is there for the bias term. So six plus one is seven. Suppose uh, there is uh, 600 instances, they said, okay? If there is uh, seven dimensions or eight dimensions, then uh, eight dimensions means eight plus one, nine. Then our answer will be 600 into nine. So our answer will be option B for question number three. Okay. So next question. Question number four. That let a M cross N matrix of real numbers. Okay. The matrix AAT, the matrix AAT has eigenvector X, and with eigenvalues p, then eigenvector y a t a. Okay, that means y is the eigenvector of this a t into a. So we have to know that a into a t is not same as a t into a. Okay, there is a difference between these two because uh, for mul matrix multiplication, uh, the column of the first matrix will be same as the column of the, the row of the second matrix. Okay. So if this is uh, same, that means the column of the first matrix is same as the row of the second matrix, then we can multiply two matrix. And if eigenvector and eigenvalue is given, then we can write this equation like that. A A T into X is equal to B into X. Okay. So this is our eigenvalue uh, and this is our eigenvector. Okay. Next, we have to find out what is the eigenvector. That means in this place of X, what will be there in case of ATA? Now, uh, like that. 
okay so multiplying at on both sides what we get at into at okay in this side we multiply at in this side we also multiply at okay now uh, at into a this two term we selected okay at into a okay now uh, what is left there at into x okay left there in this side uh, at into x okay this at and this x so b is there so if the eigenvalue is b and at a is my matrix then at x is there on both sides okay there is at x there is at x so at x is our eigenvector okay so our answer will be at into x and this might come into your exam okay now coming to question number five the following table gives uh, the binary ground truth tables yi for four input points xi we have a logistic regression model with some parameters value that computes the probability pxi okay so this uh, pxi is there this pxi is there now how we can do this we have to know one equation that l equal to phi 1 to n pxi to the power yi 1 minus pxi to the power 1 minus yi okay now what is this pxi pxi means for this first case pxi is equal to 0 0.8 and yi is equal to 1 okay that means uh, 0 0.8 to the power 1 into 1 minus 1 minus pxi pxi means 0 0.8 so 1 minus 0 0.8 to the power 1 minus 1 so 1 minus 1 means 0 so 1 minus 0 0.8 that is 0 0.2 to the power 0 okay this will give 1 so 0 0.8 will be our first term okay 0 0.8 now uh, in this, uh, in the second case, uh, uh, like it is same as this 0 0.8, so 0 0.4 will be there, and in this last case, 0 0.9 will be there. But in this case, the y value is 0, so 1 minus 0 we will get 1, and here 0 0.2 to the power 0 because uh, the y i value is 0, so 0 0.2 to the power 0 means 1, and 1 minus 0 0.2 means 0 0.8, uh, in so 0 0.8. So this fourth term, if we multiply, then we will get 0 0.2304. So, 0 0.230. So, option B is our answer. Okay. Now, coming to question number 6. The parameter obtained in linear regression can take any value in real space. Okay. So, this will be our answers. The parameter obtained in linear regression can take any value in real space. Okay. These things we have to remember. Now, question number 7. Uh, given the following data set consisting of two classes A and B, calculate the prior probability of each class. Okay. This is our option. Uh, option A, option B, option C and option D. So we have to uh, know two things that PA and what is PB. So PA is equal to number of instances in class A and total by total number of instances. So what is number of instances in class A? Number of instances means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, number of instances in class A is 5 and total number of instances is 8. So if we uh, count this uh, number, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 5 by 8 will be the answer probability of A, class A, that is PA. Okay. So 5 by 8, 0 0.625. Now, for, uh, same as probability of PB, you do yourself that 1, 2, 3. So 3 by 8. Okay. 0 0.375. So, option B will be our answer. So, now, coming to question number 8. If you have 5 class classification problem and uh, want to avoid uh, masking using polynomial regression, what is the minimum degree of polynomial you should use? So, this is the 4 options given. And for this, we have to remember one equation that is k minus 1. Minimum degree. That's minimum degree will be k minus 1. Now, what is the value of k here? This is the value of k this 5, this is the value of k, okay, so 5 minus 1, what we get, we will get 4, okay, so option B will be our answers. So this is the last questions of today's session, I will uh, try to make more videos on this topic, if you want to get more videos, then please uh, subscribe my channel and press the notification, you will automatically get the notification when I will upload the video, and these videos will help you in your final exam, so thank you, uh, see you in the next video.